the Association of Southeast Asian Nations or ASEAN and India on the occasion of the 19th ASEAN India Summit to commemorate the 30th anniversary of their dialogue relations in Cambodia acknowledged that the deep civilizational linkages maritime connectivity and cross cultural exchanges between Southeast Asia and India have grown stronger over the last 30 years the joint statement noted that both the ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific and the Indo-Pacific Oceans Initiative or IPOI share relevant fundamental principles in promoting peace and cooperation as outlined in the ASEAN India joint statement on cooperation on the AOIP for peace stability and prosperity in the region adopted at the 18th ASEAN India summit in 2021 Today in Telangana Prime Minister Narendra Modi took a swipe at State Chief Minister K Chandrasekhar Rao without naming him accusing him of corruption and dynastic policy he said that the state needs people first not family first government the pm also took a dig at kcr's alleged superstitious beliefs claiming all crucial decisions are based on superstition the pm then claimed that opposition parties are trying to form a coalition as they fear corruption investigations against them by agencies PM Modi while alleging rampant corruption in the state said that his government's push to digital transactions and online payments have significantly reduced corruption as those transactions can be tracked The BJP has condemned the remarks of Akhil Giri a minister in the Mamata Banerjee led TMC government in Bengal over his comments on President Draupadi Murmu's looks In a viral video the minister was heard saying that Trinamool Congress does not judge people by their looks but then cited the example of President Murmu BJP's Amit Malviya shared a video and claimed Akhil Giri, TMC Minister of Correctional Homes, made objectionable comments about the president. Today in Himachal Pradesh, over 5.5 million voters will be voting for 412 candidates in 68 assembly constituencies. The voting is scheduled from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. across 7,884 polling stations, including 7,235 in rural areas and 646 in urban pockets of the state. Three auxiliary polling stations have also been set up in far-flung areas by the Election Commission. As per reports, counting of votes will be held on December 8th.